Hi everyone, today I'm talking about efficient biomedical image segmentation on edge TPUs. In our biomedical use case, <clears throat> we're dealing with patients experiencing voice problems. Let me first walk you through the process of voice generation. Here we see a side view of a human head. Important anatomical landmarks are the trachea, the larynx and the vocal tract. When we speak, air is coming from the lung and passes these three anatomical structures. In contrast to breathing, the vocal folds located there in the larynx are adapting and oscillating, typically at oscillation frequencies between 100 and 250 Hz. And here you can see the glottis, and the glottal area is a very good proxy for the oscillation behavior. Knowing that the glottal area is now a good proxy for this oscillation, segmenting the glottal area is crucial for quantifying um, voice physiology. That means a high glottal segmentation quality is therefore very important. We and others have shown that a deep neural network, such as the well-known unit architecture, is very suitable for glottal segmentation. We trained the unit using an open dataset called BAGELS that we recently provided open source. The glottal analysis tools, or shortcut, is typically used internationally for glottal segmentation. However, its algorithms are normally semi-automatic and take around about 18 minutes for a thousand frame long video. The unit needs around about 33 minutes, and if you crop it the frame to a smaller hour, it still takes around about 15 to 18 minutes. The times are measured on a CPU, because in a clinical environment a CPU is always available, not always a GPU. We ask if we are able to create a unit, a fast unit variant, that takes less than a minute for the same amount of frames, and runs also on the CPU. And this is what we investigated in a recent study that we published. We were tackling this problem in two ways. First of all, we made the network smaller, and second, we used an inexpensive hardware accelerator, namely the HTPU, to perform this task. Our first aim is to optimize the neural network size. By starting with a unit-like architecture, we investigated if removing or adjusting its components, we still gain an accurate segmentation. In particular, we found that actually depth seems to be more important than the base filter multiplier, similar to previous reports. By removing convolutional layers in the encoder or decoder, we see only a small decrease in performance, which is barely visible when we use separable convolutions. We further found that the type of residual propagation, so the skip connection, is not important. The new HTPU environment has not been tested on units so far, so we investigated different network configurations. We particularly focus on image and network size. We ask which configurations are actually mapped to the HTPU and how fast is the inference. We found that some especially very large models are either not mappable or relatively slow. Interestingly, we found a hinge in the latency that we further investigated. When we use small networks with small images, the HTPU compiler maps all operations to the HTPU, resulting in a fast inference speed. However, with configurations featuring larger networks and larger images, the HTPU compiler not only maps everything to the HTPU, but also to the CPU, which makes it slow. We found that the upsampling procedure is causing this issue. Throughout network sizes, here a lower alpha indicates a smaller network, the speed is constantly slow at around 8 to 9 frames per second. However, by introducing a custom upsampling routine, we gain a large performance boost from 9 to 30 fps in the HTPU. We selected four interesting network configurations. When the networks are mapped to the HTPU, we gain an up to three times performance boost compared to the native carous environment. We also investigated if these more efficient networks have an impact on clinical parameters and found that there are no significant changes, suggesting their validity. Taken together, we are able to save 99.8% of the parameter space by retaining over 95% of the baseline accuracy. By combining all improvements, we gain a total speed up of 79 times, and we show for the very first time that we can utilize HTPUs for semantic segmentation, and that we are able to map 100% of all operations to the HTPU using our custom upsampling routine. With this, Thank you for listening and more information you find at anki.xyc slash htbu.